Yep, it's still up there. It's getting high though. Remember, like I said, it's high. So you get Saturn. Scoot us over. So remember, it's high. We've been seeing it go high, and then uh, I don't know if they're going to end up trying to increase the height of the satellite to keep up with it going up. But we know what it looks like, how bright it is when uh, the solar panel goes away. So. good for Earth. But remember Earth is right there. So we'll go back over real fast. As a matter of fact we'll give you a line. Let's put the border right in the middle of Earth. So we're right in the middle of Earth. If Mercury's back there. Mercury's a small one. Okay, so now we'll come across. And yes, the sun is all the way to the right. Okay, it's not the sun. As you can see, it's high, because I'm right at the center of Earth. Okay, that's not Earth. That's whatever we've got up at Saturn. But I'm right at the center of Earth. Actually, a little low on Earth. Okay, bring it down a little bit, and I'll show you how I'm a little bit low on Earth. And yeah, Mercury comes this way, but basically, there's a huge distance between Earth and Mercury right there. It's just basically the camera behind it, behind Earth. And then Mercury looks large because it's close to the camera. Mercury swings in like this in front of Earth. Actually, it already has, too. Basically, it's just at this angle that they're shooting at. Okay. So I'll get back up in border. I'll put this border right on the center of Earth. And I'm still low, too. So I'm, not, I'm just on the bottom of Earth. Right to the left. And as you can see, we should be pretty darn unsafe because this has been rising above Saturn pretty much okay we should pretty, should be it's got it's in a trajectory that it's going up higher it's been showing itself higher on Saturn it's been showing itself higher with a direct line with Earth okay so it's not in no direct line with Earth because if it keeps going up it's just going to keep going up and no this is not ice on and it's not pan stars okay that's asking me to tell me about it. Okay, then I'm going to swing down real fast to the date and time. And now I'll just pop out in size. All the way out there pretty much, so you know that we're at NASA. Except for you. Okay. Navy. Navy, actually. I actually apologize. It's actually Navy. NASA's more, more basically Air Force majority. So... Anyway, so give me this. A lot of branch of military. Keeping us all safe. So there you go. Remember, we just we went along the border and you can even see here that it's a little high. And it's been getting higher because it actually was lower before. Okay? So even if it just keeps on its trajectory, it's gonna be high or whatever it is. Okay? I can even bring the trajectory line up like this and go very on the bottom of I'm on the bottom of Earth and if I just go to the middle of Earth so as you can see whatever trajectory it would take it's going to be away so we'll keep watching it and uh, I got some other footage I can put in from Palau showing the separation of our three suns because basically uh <laughs> Fan stars wasn't the comment. So this is pretty good on this. Okay, it's the most recent we got a footage. And remember our planetoid object that we have found that rotates uh, clockwise of the sun. We don't have to worry about it either. It's not going to hit us. It couldn't hit us. It's too low. It's very interesting. Uh, getting pretty damn close to it. 
I think that's would announce something about it and go take a look at it because uh, that's not Venus. That's not anything we know of. That's why they don't have it listed. And it's for right there in the solar system. So this is refreshes from the planet. So and remember, this isn't the same object. So because we're all the way on A and you can't see it. So. And this is, uh, at least you shouldn't be able to do anyway. So, this is Mercury and Earth here. Static, our static twin to the sun. So, it's all electrical you're seeing here. Static electrical. CME action. Coronal mass ejections of protons, electrons. Sun's a gigantic welding rod, burning away for billions of years, so, trillions actually, hopefully infinity, okay, that's the precious there for me, like I said, that's the reason that we're real, uh, doing this magnetic static CME reactor flare through CME. And yep, this is also very much interesting too because that's not going to be known. So, let's so over on B, it gets interesting also that we got, and I'm not sure if it's glimmering across because C, B, and A are directly across from each other, the shots. So, I'm wondering if it's actually glimmering past. But you see, the sun's over here, because Pan Stars is up here, you can still just see the, the tail of Pan Stars, the very, the very end tail of portion of Pan Stars again. So, um, I guess I can see Saturn here too, I guess basically Saturn's up under here somewhere. Pretty close here, more than likely Saturn's like above there, just, blow, just blowing on that. So it looks like we're starting to see it from both sides. They're just not marking it, but that's basically, it sure seems to be that that's the same location. As you can see, they're trying to keep the solar panel in front of it. So, it's pretty doggone bright. So I'm pretty sure that's our same object. I mean, if I get ourselves... And remember, this satellite could possibly be higher and that uh, Earth there and it's the same day so we come across whenever Pan Stars is up here this is Pan Star Planet so the sun is up the sun's behind here that's why I have this here to cover up Pan Star and also down here to cover up the height of the sun okay and then we come across the center of the sun and I mean of Earth, and as you can see, whatever we have there in this shot, different altitude, it looks to be low on the center of Earth. So either angle, it looks high and low from either satellite, so I would say that we're pretty safe for whatever trajectory that it takes. So it's getting pretty interesting, because you can see it from both a and B, so it's pretty damn big and pretty goddamn bright. Uh, a is closer to the Saturn. B is farther away. But it's pretty damn bright that you can see it out the back door on B. So let's glue in on it. Definitely got something hyperbolic star or something coming towards us. So I'll have to keep an eye in the next couple days and watch these star. You can remember this gap. Remember that gap and we'll see where this ends up in the next couple days. So
You can see it from B and A, looking back out the back door over to there, and then I'll pop over into we got H1B, then we'll go to K. As you can see, at B you don't get mercury, but at A you do. Insert the same object right there that we've been looking at. So as you can see from B, you can see this bugger, no problem. And then I'll get over in center earth again. And you realize it's high and low on both shots, so. And every time I center earth and bring it across, that's pretty much the center earth and I bring it across. So as you can see, it's high on this one and it's low on the other one, so we should be pretty much safe. But it's going to be interesting to see. What So, I got the footage from the there. You're going to see the sun separated. It's not separated, it's more than one sun. So. And you're going to watch it over there. Sun, my cursor's out here. You can see it coming up through the clouds there. And then you'll see the separation here. You're going to see separation. You see separation there, and you're going to see separation here in a minute. You've got separation right there. So you start to wonder, is it a small star or sun that we have coming up over by Saturn? Are we getting sunlight from the second sun on the Saturn? That's what I'm wondering. Because if you watch this, you have a gap right here. I'm on the outside of the picture, but there's a gap. There's a gap right there between that and that. And there's a gap right there. Okay, and then I blow up and go into that. So. Show you that, I zoom in on it. And then I can fast forward a little bit the slider. I'm showing you that separation. And I think I hit play or whatever. Actually I can get fast forward again, get over to what I'm showing you. There's some massive separation right there. Okay, you can see it there too. That's the smaller one. I'm wondering if that's the one over by Saturn is what I'm really starting to wonder. I really think that that's the one over by Saturn right there. Because these suns are magnetically connected. They're all a daisy chain out there. Like an umbilical cord. So, I'm beginning to believe that we are seeing our... And then also that uh, Pan Stars is a falling star. And if someone wants to think that's pan stars right there, possibly, it's good to be a possibility from what we showed you before, maybe that's pan stars then. So, you can see that... Uh